Manchester United are heading to the FA Cup final to face Manchester City. Our first ever time in our history facing Man City in a cup final. <coughs> what a huge occasion. We beat Brighton after 0-0 after 120 minutes. We beat them 7-6 on penalty. Sully March skies a penalty. Um, Victor Lindelof scores the winner, as well as pointing out man the match performance. Victor Lindelof did not put a single foot wrong today, and that is a famous United day at Wembley, and we'll be back at Wembley in June to face Man City in a huge FA Cup final. What a contest that will be. Let's get into these player ratings. Starting off, David De Gea is a strong seven. I've got to fully agree with that. He made some absolutely crucial saves after... He, he fucked around against Sevilla with his feet, and um, he didn't fuck around with his feet today. He stuck to where he knew best, and um, De Gea with a strong De Gea performance. This is where you need De Gea, in a really, really big game like this, um, with these crucial shots stopping saves that not many keepers in the world could make. So, yeah, crucial game from De Gea today, and uh, really good to see him, uh, you know, putting a, a match-winning performance almost with some of the shots he saved, as well as Sanchez. I'm also going to give credit to Sanchez. It was nil-nil with big chances for both teams. Um, Aaron Juan Basaka, he's a strong 8 for me, 7.5, yep. Uh, although he was probably tied with Lindelof for the best player on the pitch. I thought the tackling he put in were... I mean, no one can beat Juan Basaka in a 1-on-1. He is that good a right back. We thought his time at Manchester United was done. And ever since the World Cup, when Delo came back from Portugal a little bit rusty, Juan Basaka stepped up to the occasion, and he hasn't put a foot wrong since coming back into the United side. And he wasn't in Ten Hag's plans before the World Cup. Um, it's amazing to see how he's revived his career at United. And to be honest, I don't want to buy a new right... We could buy a new right back, but don't buy a Frimpong or someone like that. And it needs to start. Because Juan Basaka and Dolo are fantastic. We need someone like a Malassia, but a right back. Lindelof also an 8. Lindelof's also my man of the match. He's like Rafael Varane. In a lot. He's like almost a blend of Varane and Masters. I'm not saying he's as good as them, but he does not put... He's so strong. He's such a good centre-back. He's such a good deputy. He could start for us week in, week out if he really wanted to. It just sucks we've got the guys called Varane and Martinez. If Ten Hag goes back to Maguire, after the way Lindelof and Shaw both sort of step into the midfield and perform so well defensively and offensively, if he goes back to Maguire, I don't know what to say. I don't know what he sees in Maguire. Lindelof and Shaw is such a good second back pairing. And, um... I mean, yeah, as I said, the way Shaw gets a seven, the way they both step into the midfield and play these long balls across across the pitch, but with such awareness, not just, you know, having a lot of time, then pinging a ball across. It's so, so quick, such awareness. Um, and they help out so well in the midfield. Uh, yeah, Lindelof's an eight, Shaw's a seven, both very, very similar games. And Lindelof putting a few crucial Martinez-like challenges on the ground and Varane-like challenges tall. So, yeah, great game, Lindelof. Uh, Dallo, probably a seven for me, two. Really, really solid offensively. I thought defensively, he also did his job at left back. You know, we're asking a guy to go out of position here and play at such a high standard. He's doing exactly that. I thought the entire back four was so good in keeping a clean sheet against this Brighton side today. And uh, he's going to hold his head up high because he's getting back to that offensive height he had before the World Cup. A uh, cast definitely a seven for me. Uh, I'd probably agree with a 6.5, to be honest. I will move it down to a six. Uh, 6.5, uh, usually round down. Um, I thought he put in a few crucial challenges. I thought he controlled the midfield for most of the game. Uh, it was a clear yellow card early on, which sort of put him in jeopardy for the rest of it, but it didn't stop him going in. Um, I was scared he was going to get suspended for the final, but Cass will be available for the final, bar any injury. Uh, yeah, great game, Cass, but 6.5 I think is probably fair. Christian Eriksen, I'm going to give probably a 6. I know he's going to get a lower score, yeah. Straight 6 for me for Eriksen. Um... It wasn't his sort of game, to be honest. I don't think it was his fault. It was, wasn't was really his sort of game. He sort of... He knocked a few balls around, but, you know, he, he did as well as he possibly could. It was definitely a Fred sort of game, which is why Fred stepped up so well when Ten Hag brought him off the bench, which was a really good substitution. Ah, uh, Bruno, probably a 6.5, I'd give him. Yeah, I'd agree with a 6.6. Um, again, he's a controller of the midfield. He was back playing at number 10 today. Um, I prefer him in the deeper role. We even had to chuck him out on the right wing late and uh, when, when we brought Sabitzer on. And yeah, I, I think Bruno's just such a controller. And, but that, that loss against Sevilla, arguably our worst of the season, you know. We, we, we lost 7-0 and 6-3 and others. But like that, that in, as a performance, that was probably our worst of the season. Um, and that was probably because we had no Bruno there. He's the glue to that midfield. He's the glue to that team. He's my captain. 
Uh, Anthony, I'm going to give a... I'll give him a... Oh, I'll give him a generous six. A generous six point five. I'll give him a generous six. Um, yeah. It, again, wasn't really. He couldn't really create anything off the right side. It wasn't that sort of game. It was a very central, free flowing game. So I don't think it was Anthony's fault whatsoever. He wasn't too involved. I think he's had a really good patch of form lately, and um, yeah, he's really finding his feet at United. Marcus Rashford probably. I'm gonna give him a, a generous six as well. To be honest. Um, I'm gonna get generous sixes. Martial's also get a very generous, a very generous. I'll give Martial five. Actually, he's probably an exception. Rashford again, like Anthony, he didn't get out wide that often. He created as many chances as he could, but it was really tough for those sorts of players. Martial through the middle though, where it was definitely his sort of game. He just didn't turn up to the occasion. He he could have bagged a few, but you know his feet weren't working or something. And uh, every time a feather touches him, he goes down. So, yeah, I'm, I'm scared whenever Martial goes down. And quickly also to mention with Bruno. Bruno also gets a six. He did incredibly well for for the longest amount of time he could, uh, playing through an injury. Like, he did really well. He's playing through an injury all game. So, hopefully, he's all good for Spurs on Friday, who did just lose 6-1. Uh, Fred, seven. Um, to be honest, I thought he was the perfect substitution by Eric Ten Hag. And I thought he brought the pressure. That we needed. Um, he brought the fresh legs. He brought the intensity. And it's probably what kept it to a clean sheet and sent it to penalties. Sancho, 6.5, I thought. I thought he was actually quite creative, created quite a few chances. Looked a lot better. Looked, to look, looked a lot more enthusiastic than he has in previous appearances for us. Um, yeah, Sancho, looking back to normal. Uh, there's a shot on a more consistent basis, though. Marcel Sabitza, 6. Malassia, 6. Weko, 6. Ten Hag, 7.5, I give. Yep. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Um, made the right substitutions. Team choice was perfect. Uh, yeah, the, the Fred substitution was very proactive. He hasn't been that proactive with his subs this season, but he was very proactive with that substitution. I thought he was brave, but the right decision to take off Bruno with the injury. And um, I thought Vekor's coming on with the pressing. I actually thought with the right decision, I thought Vekor's coming on was a good sub. And he banged home a penalty. Um, yeah, all our players scored our penalties. So yeah. Submit my vote. I'd be shocked if it's not Lindelof. And it is Victor Lindelof with 81% of the vote. Thank you all for watching. Uh, I mean, Victor Lindelof, what a player. Let's hope he, that's back-to-back -back man of the matches here on the channel for him. Um, or at least from me, I've given him back-to-back -back man of the matches. So hopefully he can keep going with his form. And we've got Spurs on Friday. Hopefully we can get the job done down in London.